Hi guys, in today's lesson we're going to start exploring the time of quarter to and quarter past. We really need to tune into that word quarter, so quarter to and quarter past. Now what do you already know about a quarter? Hopefully you might know that when we have quarters it's four equal parts. So if we have a circle like a clock face and we cut it into quarters, it would have four equal parts. Okay, this is really going to help you when you're telling the time with quarter to and quarter past. If we examine this a little bit closer, here are some of those key numbers on a clock. So the 12 is at the top here and we know that's o'clock. The 6 is down the bottom and we know that that is half past because it's gone halfway around the clock. Now when we talk about quarter past, the minute hand has traveled a quarter of a way around the clock. So it lands on the three. And when we're talking about quarter two, we're talking about when the hand, the minute hand is on the nine and it's got a quarter of an hour to travel to get to the next o'clock time. Okay, so these quarters are really important. When we're talking about the minute hand pointing to one of the numbers on this side of the clock, it's always how many minutes passed. Okay, so we'll be, when it's on this side of the clock, we're talking, and it's here, we're talking about quarter past. When it's on this half of the clock, we're saying how many minutes to. So when the minute hand is pointing to the nine on this side of the clock, we're talking about quarter to the next hour. I've just put this up the top here as a little reminder of whether we're looking at how many minutes passed or how many minutes to the next hour. Let's take a look at this clock here. I'll give you a clue. It's a quarter time, okay? So let's first of all divide our clock into quarters. So that's half, and then if we cut it here, that's half again. And as you can see, the long minute hand, which is the hand we look at first, is pointing to the three. Now remember that that means it's traveled one quarter of the clock. So this is looking at a quarter past time. Then, once we know that it's quarter past, we can now look at the hour hand, the short hand, and see what number has it gone past. And you can see here it's in between the one and the two. So it's not past the two yet, it's just past the one. So this time, we would say as quarter past one, okay? Because the minute hand has traveled a quarter of the way around the clock and you can see that this hand has just gone past the one. Let's have a look at another one and have a go. Okay, again, if we divide this clock into quarters, it would be like this. Now you can see that the minute hand is pointing to the three. So we know that it, the minute hand has traveled a quarter of the way around the clock. We're looking at this half of the clock here. So we know it's a past time. And it's traveled a quarter of the way. So it's quarter past something. Now that we know it's quarter past, so quarter past, Let's take a look at the short minute hand to see where that's sitting. If we look at the minute hand here, we can see that it's just gone past the number six. So this clock is showing the time one quarter or a quarter past six. Okay, let's try one more. All right, I want you to have a little try of this one yourself. So you might want to pause it here. See if you can tell the time on this clock and check in to see how you went. Okay, how do you feel you went? Let's see. So let's divide it into our quarters again. And as you can see, the long minute hand is pointing to that three again. So we know that the minute hand has traveled a quarter of the way around the clock. So it's going to be a quarter of an hour time. Again, we're talking about this half of the clock, so we know that it's past. 
So we know that it's quarter past something. Now that we know that, let's look at the short hour hand. So this is the short hour hand here. And you can see that it has just gone past the two. So you've got it. That's right. It's quarter past two. Well done. Okay, let's start looking at a clock that's showing quarter to the next hour. Okay, so here we have our clock face. We've got our long minute hand and our short hour hand. Let's first divide it into quarters. All right, and as you can see, the long minute hand is actually now pointing to the nine. So it's traveled all this way around here, but it's got a quarter of the way to go until it gets to the next o'clock time or to the next hour, okay? So that's how we work when we're looking at this side of the clock. We're talking about how many minutes is it until the next hour. So we know that it's quarter to something. Now this is where it's a little bit dif different. When you look now at the short hour hand, we want to look at what is it almost on. And you can see here that this hour hand is going to move towards the 12. Okay, it's not in front of the 11, it's in front of the 12. And because we're talking about how many minutes to the next hour, this clock is showing quarter to 12. Let's have a go at that again. It's a little bit tricky. But let's have a try again with a different clock. Okay, let's look at this one here. First of all, let's divide it into our quarters. So we've got quarters there. Okay, you can see that the long minute hand is pointing to the nine. So we're on this side of the clock, which means we're trying to figure out how many minutes to the next hour. So this minute hand has a quarter of the way to go till it gets to o'clock. So we know that it's going to be quarter to something. Now, let's take a look at where that hour hand is. Here it is here. What is it almost touching? You can see as I drag my finger along there, it's almost touching the seven. So it's quarter to seven. Now we're gonna look at these clocks and decide whether they're showing a quarter to time or a quarter past. Okay, remember the two things we need to think about is what number is the long minute hand on and what side of the clock is that on? So is it on the side that we say is how many minutes past or on the side that says how many minutes to the next hour? Let's take a look at this first clock here. So we can see that the long minute hand is on the nine. It's on the side of the clock where we talk about how many minutes to the next hour. Okay, and we can see that if it's pointing on the nine, it's only got a quarter of the way to travel until it gets to o'clock. So that is a quarter to time. Okay, let's have a look now without as many clues. Let's look at this clock here. The biggest clue is where is that minute hand pointing? It's pointing to the nine. So that is a quarter to time. Okay. Let's have a look at this clock here. Remember our first thing we look at is the minute hand. What is it pointing to? It's pointing to the three. So this one, we can see the minute hand is pointing to the three. Okay, remembering our quarter part of the clock, the minute hand has traveled a quarter of the way around the clock. It's on this half so we know it's past. So this one is showing a quarter past a time. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. Again, first thing we look at is the minute hand. What is it pointing to? It's pointing to the nine. I bet you already know that's a quarter to time. Okay, next one. This one here, look at where the minute hand is pointing. That's right, it's on the three again. So that means it's quarter past. It's traveled a quarter away around the clock. Okay, and the last one, again, let's look at the minute hand first. It's pointing to the three, 
So we know that it's gone a quarter of a way around the clock and it's on the past side. So that one is a quarter past. Well done. Now go back to the wiki and check out what your practice tasks are to become an expert at quarter two and quarter past time. Good luck.